to another Jim's radio check. Today I'm going to show you uh, some of my radios that get the best and the worst battery life. Uh, so I'll uh, show you three of each. First we'll start out with some of the best. This here is the Sony uh, ICF P26. This is a great pocket size radio. Uh, works really well on AM and FM. It's great for picking up long distance stations at night. Uh, takes two AA batteries and they last uh, I think it could be close to 200 hours. Uh, it's definitely awesome on batteries so if you're looking for a good radio that doesn't suck up a lot of battery power this one's recommended. The Sony ICF P26. Okay my second radio I'm going to show you is the Kato KA321 which uh, is a shortwave radio AM FM DSP receiver. Uh, it's got a pretty decent uh, band swing on it. It starts at I want to say about 570 and goes up to 2100 in that vicinity. So it's got a decent band spread to it. Uh, decent radio. Uh, one of my one of my favorites. Uh, great for side uh, not sideband uh, short waving. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, good on AM at night. Decent FM reception. And uh, takes two AA batteries, which again, lasts a long time. But I wouldn't say as long as that Sony does. But uh, I would say maybe 100 hours or so. But yeah, this is another radio that I would recommend if you're looking for shortwave and uh, something that's good on the batteries. So, the Kato KA321. Alright, okay, now let's go to the last one of the, of the battery savers. Alright, here we have the Texan R9012. This is a great AM FM shortwave radio. Uh, it starts at uh, 3.70 on the shortwave and goes up to 21.95. Uh, it does skip some of the, the, the band on the short wave, but for the most part it's got most of it. You got uh, 10, 10 uh, uh, frequent, you know, different bands uh, on short wave and an FM, and then you got medium wave, so that's actually 12 bands. Again, this is a great radio for AM, you know, for short wave and all that. Uh, it operates on two AA batteries like the other two, and they'll last a while. Uh, just a great little radio. In fact, uh, I was involved in an accident, and I had this radio in my pocket, and it survived uh, the airbags opening and all that. So, uh, yeah, I really like it. The Texan... R9012, and again, it's great on batteries, so uh, if you're looking for a good battery sipper, short wave and all that dialogue tuning, highly recommended. Alright, now let's go into the ones that are not as good on batteries. Okay, here we go, the GPX R616W, I have reviewed this radio before. Uh, it's a decent uh, AM FM shortwave radio. Uh, it takes two AA batteries, but I want to tell you this thing sucks batteries down like a like guzzling beer. It's uh, not really good for battery consumption. You probably, if you're lucky, get 12 hours out of your batteries. But like I said, it's a decent radio. In fact, all these radios I'm showing you are good. So. Uh, would I recommend this if you're uh, looking for uh, a long-life battery radio? No, not really. 
but uh, all in all it's a decent radio. Uh, let's go to this one. The Radio Shack, let's see what is this, the Digital Travel Radio, AM, FM, shortwave. Uh, let's see, We it goes from band 530 to 1710 on AM, 88 to 108 on FM. And on shortwave it goes from 2.3 to 26.1. And I do believe it's got continuous, uh, you know, uh, you can continuously scan it. So, uh, this is a decent radio. It has a problem on shortwave. Do I think the squelch is set too high so when you when you scan it, it don't pick it up like it should. AM, it's outstanding for uh, medium wave at night. Uh, really good uh, for DX. FM's pretty good. I don't know, I really like this radio a lot. Uh, as I said, it takes three AA batteries, and it will suck them down pretty quick, like the previous radio I showed you probably last maybe get two days of use out of it if you're lucky but for performance yeah I would recommend it but you know you could always use rechargeables like I try to do so anyway yeah uh, battery guzzler for sure and then the last one I'm gonna show you <coughs> is actually an awesome radio <coughs> the Texan 600 I purchased this radio probably one of my first ones actually probably about three years ago maybe uh, it's got AM FM sideband short wave it's got long wave uh, really uh, good on sideband the only thing is uh, it's a little rough listening to for some reason uh, it, uh, it it's kind of Hard to explain, the modulation ain't that great on it. I've heard that uh, from other people too, but the radio itself is awesome. Uh, what I do is, uh, if you this button here, you, know, you press this button after you plug the plug into the wall, and it'll charge your battery, so I use rechargeables. But if you were, used to, were to use dull, uh, trip AA alkalines, this thing would guzzle them like crazy. You probably get a day and a half out of them, and it takes four of them. So, if you know, if you get this radio, I'd recommend getting rechargeables and uh, plugging it in and charging them uh, that way. I don't like to use the plug directly to listen because it gives off noise and stuff. So, but anyway, you've seen my uh, three best. Uh, uh, radios for batteries and you've seen my three worst and like I said every one of these radios are, are really good radios to awesome radios so uh, anyway uh, thanks for tuning in people uh, it is so humid out here today I can't take it I mean it's something like 85 already with the humidity close to 80 percent so anyway I'm gonna call it quits 73's and uh, we'll catch you guys next time take care